ba oh, back just in time. We're gonna give this a go and see how this goes. This is either gonna be really easy or a complete disaster. Let's see. For anyone who doesn't know, uh, this guy here, Anti-Guy, is not a mandatory boss. Uh, he is optional. You can just give him a lemon candy, and he'll also move out of the way. We don't negotiate with anti guys. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yep. Peril strap for the win. For anyone who doesn't know what just happened, uh, there is a badge. Oh, oh, holy shit. Mobius. The ten subs. My god. Thank you, thank you so much. Oh, here we go, this badge right here, Mega Rush. If you are in peril, which means you have one HP, it increases your attack by four. So you combine that with power plus and also the the power bounce, and you get some crazy shit. Oh yeah, and then he gives you a power plus. Uh, but we do not we don't have the badge points to be equipping that right now. So with that strat, you can dish out a little like around 50 damage without even being in danger of taking a hit. Sure we do, unequipped defense plus? Okay, hell, hold on, hold your horses there. <laughs> Tell you what, we'll wait till we level up again. And I'll give myself at least a little bit more HP and then we'll swap it out. Because 20 HP is not a lot of HP for this point in the game. When I'm not, I'm like 50-50 on the blocking, still. So we'll get that, because I think I have a badge for HP plus that I'm just not using. Let me see. Yeah, so we'll get three more badge points, and I'll equip the HP plus, and then we'll equip the... We'll take this off and swap it out for the power next time we level. BP cap is in two more levels. Yeah, I just suicide bombed a weird shy guy. I think I'm gonna take a nap. <laughs> Thank you. BP caps at 30 in this game. That is weird, but at the same time... I guess that a Thousand Year Door just sort of has... You could just infinitely level up and be a badge god. So... <laughs> nope.
four fucking badge points to use this thing? Really? Last video was fire, bro. Thank you. So that's basically power plus, but it gives me two more badge points, and also I have to not fuck up. I don't know, let's look, let's look real quick. Let's see. So... We will try this. We'll try. I will give it my best shot. <laughs> uh, Origami King, Origami King. Oh, I've, I've not played Origami King myself. I've seen people play Origami King. And it is definitely a step up from the two that came before it. But I still wouldn't say that it's as good as any of the first three games. Because the battle system is a weird puzzle thing. Hey there. Whale bro. I'm a whale and I have problems. That's a top tier quote right there. direction to press. But that day is not today. <laughs> I'm a whale and I spent a hundred dollars on Mega Man X die. Okay, okay. <laughs> just, just hops right back up. What's this whale doing? He's eating bow, craze, massive bottles. Yeah, no wonder he's fucking sick. This guy needs therapy. This is just a 
Mischief. This is a weird little guy. Like, we already have a race of tiny little fuzzy things. And they are in this game. <laughs> so I don't know what this penguin looking motherfucker is doing here. But he's a slightly bigger, tiny little fuzzy thing. Well, you got me there. Fuzzipede is the only boss weak to up, up, and away, which is a skill you can never learn before fighting him. I mean, this, this just seems to be like design quirks the video game. When you look in deeper into it, into like speedrun shit and all that. Uh, see ya, Chaos. Sorry, I'm late. my defense is pretty early. Yeah. I was just, I was done with everything I needed to do for now. And I was like, eh, I'll start a little earlier. It might let a couple people who normally uh, have to duck out early, maybe they'll get to see the whole stream this time. It depends how long this chapter is, or if we'll even be doing the whole chapter, because I just do not remember. Why is there no music here? I thought my speakers were just quiet. <laughs> Fucking cursed image. This is like those pictures of uh, when you see Phineas from Phineas and Ferb facing forward. <laughs> That one, that was too big of a sip. Hold on, I wanted to see, uh... We were talking about something like re-triggering prologue? What, um... I don't know what... I assume that's a speedrun trick. I don't know what the fuck that is. Just a weird trick that breaks the game. <laughs> Fuck with the entire game trick.
let's say you want to start the entire game over, but don't want to make a new file, re-trigger prologue, and you start the game at max level. Storing loading zone enough to skew Mario's angle as he walks into the room so he falls out of bounds, and you have to have 32 key items before doing this. Are there even 32 key items in this game? Yeah, no, like, I know you're having trouble, but I gotta ring the pretty bell plant. The problem is getting them without losing them. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, you get key items all the time, but you almost immediately give them to somebody. We got some proper fuzzy boys here. Not that weird bootleg guy who was inside the whale. Lots of clipping and glitching and stuff. Yeah, yeah, no, that doesn't seem like it's up my alley. Uh, finally a stream that's not locked to 1080p? Oh, well, good. I mean, I had nothing to do with that. That's just Twitch randomness, but... That's good for the people who normally can't watch because of uh, stream quality. That stream title is legendary. Thank you. I'm sorry, I'm just reading this the ridiculous series of events that's necessary for this trick. Yeah, that's crazy. That that is insane for just a a trick that's just like, hey, check this out, you know? Oh, here he is! Don't Google this guy, okay? I Googled Chief Yoshi to try and find a fucking uh, image of him. Oh boy, um, there's a lot of feet and tongues. Don't trust the internet. I don't know how they could do that to such a wholesome character. mode? Oh, I wouldn't. <laughs> who just, I don't, I know it's the rule, but who sees Big Yoshi and is just like, oh yeah, baby, I gotta draw some tasty feet on there. He got that tongue. <laughs> Look at them. Look at all the baby. This is a place of happiness. How could the internet defile this? Wow, become famous and buy followers at bigfollows.com. I can't wait! <laughs> 
You know we're making it when more and more of these stream bots start showing up. <laughs> Hello, uh, character that I completely forget even exists in this game. Uh, what's your name again? Sushi, I think. The, the babysitter fish. <laughs> oh. She can yeet herself? Oh yeah, that is one of her attacks, isn't it? Poison too? Great. Well, I know which stage things I will not be interacting with anymore. I don't think any showed up during the command mission stream. Even bots have quality control. <laughs> Um, <laughs> that's the thing, I guess. Heard from a Discord server there's some bots that force unfollow streamers' followers. There's a lot of Discord, I mean, not Discord, fucking Twitch. There's a lot of Twitch bot stuff that needs to be fucking taken care of. Twitch needs to maybe get off their ass. That's all coconuts. Don't tell Twitch I said that. I wanted to see how long I could sit here before I started laughing. I'm the only one who bonks around here. They're cutting in on my fucking territory. Who's boss bond? <laughs> I am the big bond. Ah, I figured there was something back here. Yeah, no, I don't think I need to keep the coconut. I think that can go. <laughs> Colorado is this game's version of Flavio. It's almost like this game and Thousand Year Door are like the exact same game. <laughs> and they just made the same game again, but better. False, you can't make him follow you the entire game. <laughs> Well, that was almost a very short chapter, but uh, unfortunately, we gotta go a bunch of do go do a bunch of busy work first, as is RPG tradition. <laughs> Would you rather they make the same game but worse? Oh, 
Oh, I'm about to get bonking. The villages, they're panicking. They're just dumb as fucking bricks, Mario, please. That's a suspicious bush. Yep, thought so. <laughs> Ah, they got me with the old ambush. <laughs> Fuck you. That's a stream tier pun. <laughs> feet and tongues in this village and they still can protect the kids. <sighs> I'm glad I can say that my stream spawned that sentence. <laughs> Won't somebody think of the children? Oh, sent it a little too fucking hard there. <laughs> they are thinking of the children, they're just not trying to find them. like a fucking gate or something? Yeah, we live right next to the, the haunted swamp and the giant fuck-off murder volcano. We just let the kids walk around wherever. They gotta learn these things on your own, on their own. You know how it is. Survival of the fittest, and they failed. Exactly. This awakened something in somebody. You know how the internet is. Come back and grab it later when the plot demands it. Uh -huh. Thanks. <laughs> what do you mean the seed isn't ready? Yeah, like what are the what's he gonna do? Grow a seed?
This guy's like jamming out. I don't know. <laughs> trying to see what he's doing here. Man, look at him groove. <laughs> he's growing a randomizer seed. Yeah, no, that, that flower's just really into Symphony of the Night, that's all. How'd I manage to hammer him with the spear extended? Uh, I think, uh... I don't know if you're joking, but I think if it's a first attack, that sort of- that doesn't apply sometimes. That's my guess. Overworld interactions are clearly not canon I think we have now reached the fire Festival. Yeah, we thought we were going to the island. It's a complete fucking disaster now. Food sucks, it's just coconuts. <laughs> Shy guy stripping is not what you expected? You need to be around this stream a little longer. So we'll probably go with this for, uh, for right now. Until we get another upgrade and we can put the Defend Plus back on. Or the Power Plus, whichever we end up deciding to do. Boy, this is such an enthralling mechanic. I'm sure the next partner won't have the exact same ability. Like they ran out of ideas or something. Nope. That's not gonna happen. Jig they're doing. Yeah, they're just vibing. Time to ruin their day. <laughs> what, you got stuck in a bush? You couldn't figure your way out of this one? Bush inverted. Yeah, nothing. No one knows what happens on the back side of a Paper Mario screen. There's weird shit back there. Yeah, let's just bring this all the way back out here. Oh yeah, I guess that was sort of uh, Super Paper Mario's entire gimmick. Uh, 
Super Mario's backside, huh? <laughs> yep, that's what we were talking about. You hit the nail on the head. I need to be remembering to switch this stupid fucking fish out before I get into uh, a battle. <laughs> Well, guess what? You're getting nuked from orbit now, assholes. Oh no, the Sook! Uh, do you think you can consider playing No Straight Road sometime? I have no idea what that is. I, I can't tell you yes or no, because I have never heard of that. Buddy, it's time for a hydrate. Ah. Fantastic. Managed to not choke this time. Oh, Fattest Falcon, thank you for the gift sub. I took a more conservative sip this time. <laughs> Buddy. Hey, buddy. You just blow in from Stupid Town? Falcon. 
Ah uh, yes, the pipe hidden in the bush. <laughs> this episode is just the worst. <laughs> Someone's gonna have to bonk me at this rate. an immortal rock. That rock looks... It just looked strange. It looked out of place. It's probably just so that you immediately run into something and then the game is... So you're like, oh, I gotta turn the lights on. Spice up the cave interior in case someone visits. Oh, I that's how logs work. I'm morbidly curious how you ended up here. how many partners Mario had in the first one. Yeah, like, I wasn't memeing earlier. Like, I genuinely forget that Sushi is even a character who exists. Isn't it the same amount as Thousand Year Door? Uh, I'd have to stop and think about that for a second. I think there might be one less than Thousand Year Door. Because what, what do we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then when we get the last guy. And Thousand Year Door has... Goombella, Koops, Flurry, Vivian, Bobbery. Uh, Miss Mouse is optional. And the Yoshi. But the partners are a little more fully featured in Thousand Year Door in that they like have their own HP and everything. So that way when they get hit they don't just, you know, go out for two or three turns. And their strategy about which one of them you leave in front. Depending on, like, the attack that's happening. Oh, it was one of the stick attacks. I thought I held A. I wasn't like saying that them in order. Like if people are like critiquing the order I was the, the characters were in, I was just saying them off the top of my head. <laughs> that order was wrong.
More magic logs. <laughs> Miss Mouse is optional. Yeah, but so is playing the game. <laughs> Sushi's ability is Squirt. I'm late tonight, but I'm sure Jet's already made a joke about it. I didn't even notice. I haven't actually- that was the first time I used Sushi in battle. It's a very angry fish. <laughs> Don't bring up the big Yoshi feet. For a chain chomp, they could just replace what the Koopa character always does. It could like shoot out and break stuff. Yoshi feet, there's an OnlyFans joke in there somewhere. Not anymore, there isn't. That website's fucked. <laughs> Pour one out for all the poor simps out there who are gonna be left stranded when OnlyFans closes. <laughs> oh, they they backed up. <laughs> they 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 backpedaled on that. Like, hearing about it, like... Did the, did the, like, the CEOs and executives who run that place genuinely not understand that their website was 95% porn? Like, did they, did they not know? Was it a surprise to them? One more, okay, one more. Let me get all of them. Oh, I think the last one is in that screen I noped out of as soon as I saw the... the shy guy. <laughs> that executive meeting must have been a blast. It's- oh shit! Does, does, does anyone know the name of that video? Uh... I think College Humor made about when Tumblr was banned. Where it's the CEO just like having a seizure. <laughs> About like how much how much of our website is porn? How much are we gonna be? Uh sir nine. Nine? Nine percent? No, ninety. Ninety percent? <laughs> That's all I could think about when I heard the news. Uh, John Stream, my favorite chapter, Best Paper Mario, what a fine birthday gift to me. Oh, well, happy birthday! Oh, God, I can't 
to the fucking belly flop. You stupid fish! It's gonna do nothing. Right. It changes. I wasn't- I was looking at chat, that was my fault. I mess if we can get encounters underwater. Oof. Well, best to just sit there and do literally nothing about it, friend. Was the little twirl necessary? They're just going for style points now. They look so upset when you kill them. They're just like, mm, I'm sorry. I mean, when you, I mean, yeah, when, when I word it like that, yeah, I'd probably be upset if someone killed me. <laughs> That would ruin my whole day. I'm not in the mood today. Some fucker killed me on my way to work. me luck going to play Blitzball. Oh, I'm fucking sorry, mate. That's rough. You can just swallow like a handful of dice instead. No swallowing the math rocks. Oh, 
Let's see. I love Final Fantasy X. You could not pay me to fuck with Blitzball again. Absolutely. 100%. It is a great game, but oh boy, is Blitzball is probably the worst Final Fantasy minigame I can think of. Final Fantasy X in general, really, most of the uh, most of the minigames are just really bad. There's that, and then there's fucking Chocobo Racing. I mean, I actually did the Chocobo <laughs> Racing part for fucking Tidus' weapon. But I've never bothered with Blitzball for more than two or three matches. Blitzball is the only way to get Waka's uh, ultimate weapon. <laughs> the only math rocks you should eat is your DMs. Clickety clack, I'm gonna eat that attack. The lightning dodging, too. Thank you for reminding me about the lightning dodging, which I think you need for Lulu's ultimate weapon. That is also fucking abysmal. All the mini games in that game are just bad. I don't know what happened. Kamari, it's for Kamaris. Why does Kamari exist? That was the conclusion I came to back when I was making those reviews. He's like just sort of a blank character for you to do what the fuck ever with. Blue Mage? Yeah, I guess. But, you know, I've played that game a couple... I've played that game three times now. And I've only ever gotten, like, two or three attacks for Kamari. Oh, yeah, I got another egg. Probably because his skills require limit break. Yeah, it's like... Imagine if to cast Holy or whatever, or Ultima, you had to get your limit break every time. Instead of just being able to fucking cast it. That's basically what it's like playing Kimari. This game sure has a problem with inventory spaces, huh? Fucking preach. It is fucking dumb how small the inventory space is in this game. I feel like it's because... Because the numbers in the game are so low, like, we're, like, halfway through the game, a little over halfway through the game, and we have 25 HP. Like, they can't have you walking around with a bunch of items, because then you'd just be invincible all of the time. Right. He said it was hidden behind some bushes, that's right. First time chat from viewer. Hi. Well, hello. Welcome. Welcome to Horny Jail. <laughs>
<laughs> bonking is not optional. <laughs> the ball, the the bonking is compulsory. <laughs> all right, let's get get all these things close. reason to like bring this water all the way to the side does it do something no okay I figured I figured since it let you it did something I thought there might be like uh, an extra thing if I brought the water all the way to the left side ah I've been japed I just noticed a viewer count. That's quite a lot of people for Paper Mario. Usually hover around like 30. Thanks for hanging out, everyone. Yeah, nope. <laughs> I gotta go. Oh. He's a persistent little fuck, ain't he? <laughs> they came for Big Yoshi. Guys, you have to fucking mash. What's the problem with these gold ones? I hope <laughs> I hope they only came for this dream and not for being Yoshi. <laughs> we might have to have a little talk. Chat, if you're a furry, you can tell me. This is a safe space. I don't judge. But I do have to ask, why Big Yoshi? You could have picked, like, Rouge the Bat or something. <laughs> and you picked the fat Yoshi from Paper Mario 64. <laughs> no judging, only questions. Exactly. Yes, I believe they like. I prefer. I believe they prefer to be called scalies. I'm not on the up and up.
about to turn into an in-depth analysis of the furry fandom and the hidden war between furries and scalies. This is where Paper Mario takes us. Where the fuck did the Magikoopa come from? You're right, real, real sharp. That's not a fun fact. Furries the most are furries themselves. Oh, so they're like anime fans, huh? Fucking weebs. I say while glancing up at my Dragon Ball Z figures <laughs> above my desk. been quite a unique bonding experience for chat tonight, huh? <laughs> I, feel, I feel like we've all become closer, but purely by accident. <laughs> the social links are going up. <laughs> Grown stronger in the full arcana, indeed. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. What would chat be? I don't know enough about tarot. going I'm going to heal and fill my star shit back up because I believe there's a boss at the top of that tree I'm overly cautious welcome to the stream this is what it's like playing video games with me <laughs> breath, Mario. It's okay. It's all gonna be over soon. No more star spirits. No more cake. Just let go. <laughs> That's why I was thinking. Mario, clo the way Mario closes his eyes underwater is like he's just ready to die. Like, he accepts his fate. It's it's really weird. <laughs> Just let it go, Mario. The car crash wasn't your fault. <laughs> Mario, I've been dead for ten years. You have to let me go. 
No, sushi, please. <laughs> Glad to be here. Wanted to tell you I'm here after binging all your Mega Man Battle Network content and wrote twice. Awesome. Well, thank you. I am happy when people enjoy the stuff. <laughs> I'll never let go, Jack. <laughs> Says my. I'll never let go, Jack. No, that'd be like Captain Lou Mario. My heart will go on, Luigi. Okay, wait, I think this is the proper way then, so was there something around back there? Let me just check. Yeah, okay, good thing I came back. Oh, it's also Happy Heart, so maybe not. <laughs> There just aren't enough badge points to go around in this game. There's too many good badges. And it's disadvantageous to not just equip the ones that make your stats better. <laughs> Sorry, Luigi, but you was high. <laughs> it's all in your head, Luigi. There's no such thing as the Mushroom Kingdom. This is going to become a very different stream. Rather a different streamer's stream. Raphael, you have Terminal 7. Brain cancer. <laughs> Bo, are you going to be alright? Are you having an issue? Why do they have, like, realistic human feet with, like, toes and shit? These Raphael Ravens! <laughs> Bo doesn't want anything to do with this and Mario isn't letting her leave. <laughs> Mario, those Ravens have realistic feet. I'm getting out of here. DeviantArt's gonna be here any minute and I'm not hanging around for that shit. There they go. Is feet worse than realistic hands? I don't know, ask the original Sonic movie design. Adding creepy feet, the game already feels more like the internet than the first Battle Network game. I guess going by my criteria of what makes something the internet, that is correct. Program advance. Fetish sword. 27 year old lamb, what are you doing here?
we are about to go into the volcano, so. Best to stay hydrated when you're cooking at a few hundred degrees. Don't know that they hate raids. Yeah, so uh, I won't be... I don't know if it even tie, it ties in with the stream date, but uh, if it does, I, will, I won't be streaming September 1st. There's like a thing to like, make, you know, boycotts and stuff, it usually doesn't work, but whatever little bit I can do, if don't stream on September 1st, maybe Twitch will pay the fuck attention and fix their horrible bot and raid problem. Let's not let's not get into that stuff. We're having a we're having a fun stream. Let's not get into weird hateful dickheads on the internet. Instead talk about weird perverted dickheads on the internet. Yeah, wacky woohoo plumber man. Woohoo. No, it's okay you brought it up. I just don't want I don't want to start talking about this. Like I absolutely absolutely no. Just relax and have a fun time. Piranha plants are robots, apparently. <laughs> Did Ralph say Colorado was a maverick? I didn't see that. This guy only has two sprites, like, smug asshole and, oh my god, I'm gonna die. I think this is our first instance of, like platforming? Which is weird, because Mario RPGs are usually full of this shit. Okay, um... Why'd I choose such a cringe sound for the hammer? Have you seen chat? I give the people what they want. Um... So who can touch these guys? Like, Watt doesn't technically run into them, right? Cooper? I got <laughs> I know sushi can, but that takes uh, flower points. This game's fine, but you know what it's missing? Ale. Every game's missing ale.
not tagging you, just posted the stream meme for the day on Discord. Hold on, guys. Let me, let me pop this in. This might be worth sharing. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, no, I'm gonna have to share this one. Capcom didn't make a sequel for Command Mission because it was a shitty game. Because it wasn't a shitty game or something. They didn't because they couldn't bring Ale back. Yeah, what's the fucking point? Why? Why make any? That's why we haven't gotten next nine. Because they peaked at Command Mission. Like, what? What are you gonna do after that? <laughs> oh, thank you. I enjoyed that. They peaked with that. That's why Mega. That's why I don't make Mega Man games at all anymore. They knew after Ale. Well, why bother? Okay. They have a little more defense than I thought they might have. Uh, is there any other reason why ZX's female protagonist is also called Ale? Uh, I have no idea. Maybe Ale means something. I, I genuinely don't know. Yeah, the power quake that I just removed, because I figured, oh, well, we're going to be fighting most of these lava bubble guys, whatever. She breaks the fence. Uh, please upgrade sushi for the boss. Uh, sushi has been upgraded. Unless there's another upgrade station in here somewhere. Like another orb. another upgrade in here. Ball of plasma gets hurt by the other ball of plasma. Whatever. Uh, see you, Sharp. I came back for four coins. Star pieces or something, bro. 
Fire is explicitly not plasma. What, what is it then? I believe you, I'm just asking, what the fuck is it then? Is it a, a weird fifth state of matter that's just fire? directions to go. Also, the frame rate, dear god, it does not like this level. Okay, that just brings me all the way back up. Can I let go of this, or do I have to, like... Okay, I just jump off and he falls straight down. Okay, got it. No, you try. I'm proud of you. Don't worry, son. I know you tried. blocks is back up a level. Yeah, I was gonna head back up there and uh, investigate eventually. There's like three ways I can go right now and I wasn't sure which one is progress and which one is extra shit. Puns and bad jokes are what this channel part of what the channel was built on, absolutely. If I didn't have puns, there would be a lot less commentary on this Twitch page.
Also Haruka. <laughs> and corn. You can't forget about corn. Where would we be without Cobb Champ? Our channel mascot. You know, the sentient Cobb of corn. Tidal wave to attack all enemies. Yeah, alright. I see what you're saying. That should make this boss easy. Drop some cobs in there. Cobs out. <laughs> Seeing plenty of cobs. <laughs> I see you in there, Dark Fog. You're trying to sneak your horny in with the cobs. I'm watching you. I'm so proud of my team, Colonel. I gotta water these cobs. <sighs> Delicious. Second half of Team Colonel review. Uh, hmm. I'm bad with dates. Probably like the... I'd say probably late September, actually. Because, as uh, anyone on the Discord might have saw, I'm uh, playing Mega Man Zero currently. And I'm going to make... It'll be shorter. Of course. Because it's not a f fucking 30-hour RPG. But I think I'm gonna make a short, shorter video about Mega Man Zero first, and then we'll go back and do the second half. Because I wanted to play it, and I was like, ah, I got some stuff to say, I might as well make a video about this too. So in like a week and a half, well, you'll have the review for Mega Man Zero, and then near closer to the end of September, the, the second half of Battle Network 5. Use the save assist feature? Oh, trust me! Oh. <laughs> I have, uh, not the nicest things in the world to say about Zero One. I'm like, uh, I'm like two levels into Zero Two. I started last night, and I'm enjoying it way more. Uh, but the first one is... First one's rough. If I didn't have the save assist, I I don't know if I could have friggin' beaten it. I probably would have rage quit.
Unlock emo channel thing seems to not be working. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have it enabled. I'll take a look at it. Trying for all S ranks? <laughs> no, I'm just trying to play the game. Uh, no, I'm just trying to beat it. It's just the problem is primarily that, uh, the grinding. Like, there's only like two or three areas in the actual game itself that I have a problem with. And the rest of it's just the grinding is terrible. And dear God. <laughs> I am trying to get- I know in Zero Two, you apparently- you get special skills for getting A rank, so it actually matters. We'll see how that goes. Like I said, I just started. You don't need to grind. Uh, are you talking about Zero One? Because we can't- oh, I'm sorry, we can't all be the Mega Man Zero Messiah and beat the game with no upgrades. <laughs> yes, Mega Man Zero does- Mega Man Zero One does have a grind spot in the first level. Unless you're like me, who- had already done the second mission in that area before I realized Cyber Elves were even a thing I needed to grind for. At which point, that area is collapsed and you cannot go there anymore. So I totally fucked myself and ended up just doing it in the desert for like a half hour. Bonk has reached its final form. But, um... It's like... The Cyber Elf system is interesting, but... And I'll get into it more in the review, where my thoughts are more... Uh, well written and thought out, but... There, it's The whole Cyber Elf thing is meant to encourage exploration, and it does the literal opposite of that. Because without grinding, you'd be able to upgrade, like, a whopping one Cyber Elf. Through in your entire playthrough. I upgraded two, and still grinded for, like, a half hour, 45 minutes just to get a health upgrade and one sub tank. And there's like 70 of them that you just, it got to the point where I just stopped doing any, like even looking for them. It's like, oh boy, another cyber elf. Oh boy, another cyber elf. I, I'm not grinding to use it, so I'm never using it. Oh well, who cares? And the game like, it punishes you for using those things? Like, it makes your rank go down? Like, I don't... I don't understand. The Cyber Elves seem like an afterthought. Like, people thought the game was too hard and they added them in at the last minute. Because they just don't jive with the rest of the game. And the way the game... The game is structured... The game's only, like, two hours long. It is very obviously structured around you playing the game over and over and over again to, like, keep getting better at it. What do you mean, no, it's not? It has a fucking ranking system. I'm sorry, that seemed hostile. And you get to keep your Cyber Elves on New Game Plus. It's like they expect you to play the game ten times to unlock everything. Oh, I thought you were talking to me. I was like, what? That's why I was very confused. 
I'm like, Jesus Christ, I'm, I'm stupider than I thought. I completely misunderstood this game. series couldn't redeem itself after X6 and X7. Uh, X8 is good. I mean, then you have command mission after that. And... Oh dear. <laughs> The Cyber Elf system is worse than the character saving from X6. I would... I actually thought about that. How much Mega Man Zero reminds me of X6. not as bad as X6, but a lot of the design stuff reminds me of X6. Grinding souls and hunter rank suddenly being a thing that the game actually cares about. Finding the cyber elves is like rescuing the, the trapped reploids. problem with the zero thing yeah so like aside from the the cyber elf stuff like i think almost every problem i had with zero's actual gameplay which just was down to the fact it was on the fucking gba like just screen crunch stuff sections where you couldn't see what was like below you or above you and you just got fucked Mega Man Zero series is better overall than the X series. Ooh. Ooh, that's... I'm gonna have to disagree on that one. Wouldn't be so bad if Zero could take more than three hits. That's the problem. Like, if you got every upgrade in that game, Zero would be ridiculously overpowered. Like, it would be stupid how strong you are. Like, I was able to beat the game with one sub-tank and one health upgrade. Like... If you had all of that stuff, that would be absurd. Absolutely. See, that's the problem. Mega Man Zero emphasizes speed and agility, and it's on a GBA. That's the issue. I've said before that I think the Zero series could be the best Mega Man sub-series if there was a mod or a port or something that made it so that you could play it without screen crunch. Like if there was some magical mod that could pull the camera out like 50%, those games would be a hundred times better. Also, remove the fucking Cyber Elf grinding. That's a really stupid mechanic. Yeah, the ZX collection doesn't... 
I don't think it changes the resolution at all. I feel like that might be part of it, that... Uh... Coming off of, like, Mega Man, the Mega Man X games. Mega Man X games are so much about getting stronger and getting upgrades and stuff all the time. And then for the Zero game to basically punish you for wanting to upgrade yourself and make yourself stronger by wasting your fucking time... ...is just antithetical to what I went into the game expecting. That's my expectations affecting me. Though... I say this looks like the boss, so let's uh head back. That's, the, that's one thing I already noticed from fucking uh, Zero Two that's a godsend, is that sub tanks are just items you pick up. I don't have to feed a fucking cyber elf to get a sub tank. Like, I understand, that, yeah, make some of the upgrades cyber elves, but. Some of them can just be a fucking pickup, you know? I mean, two sub tank. I mean, we'll see how hard the game gets, but one sub tank. I barely needed the one sub tank I did grind for in the first game. I only needed it against X. And that's because I got pissed off and then just got lazy and equipped the triple rod and just brute forced it. So can I not go back? I can't go back up, can I? Is this rock gonna fall every time? Yeah, okay. Oh, I could use bow. That's good thinking. Oh, okay, I see I'm supposed to drop okay, drop down over that way. Got it. Okay, uh a couple questions. Let me let me back up. Just answer some of the ones that we might have missed. Uh someone uh at least one person asked, like, how I feel about Copy X and all that stuff that's going on with him, and it's an... I, I like the idea. I like the idea of Mega Man Zero's story, like the first game story. The My only problem is the, the presentation is severely lacking. Like, I think the actual narrative that they're trying to tell is very interesting. But the fact that it's entirely presented by two characters standing opposite each of each other with really ugly, just like, big blank text boxes and characters only having two or three lines of dialogue at a time because of, like, cartridge space limitations... Yeah, the 2's presentation is so much cranked the fuck up already. Once they had, like, a better idea of what they were doing and all that. Z Mega Man Zero needs to be... In, uh, fuck. Mega Man Zero 1 needs to be, like, an anime or an OVA or something. Because that story should not be stuck being represented the way it is currently represented on the GBA.
Like, it, there's so much... Yeah, I have seen the Japanese commercials that are animated. Those things are crazy. But, uh... Like, see, it feels like when you're playing it, it feels like Zero and, uh, Seal, CL, I'm not sure how you say it, are supposed to be, like, forming some sort of, like, bond or friendship or something. But in-game, that's represented by Seal saying the exact same thing over and over and over again, while Zero stands there and has no dialogue, or says dot dot dot. Like, it genuinely felt like every single conversation with Seal was the exact same, uh, the exact same dialogue every time. Oh boy, oh Zero, I'm so sad. Oh Zero, I hope you come back. I hope you're okay. I'm making a type of energy, and it, once we get this energy, it'll be paradise for everyone. Oh boy, Zero, I hope you're okay. Bop, 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 bop. It's a whole fucking thing. That same shit Iris did? Yes, but Iris is only in one game. <laughs> Listen, it feels like they had an idea for her, but like... As a lot of- as we've uh, seen with the Battle Network games, there is so much... Lore stuff and like dialogue that just ends up getting cut because of the cartridge limitations. Like even G the GBA has so little, like <sighs> space, overall space, that like even storing a lot of text is a problem. <laughs> Mega Man, the whole Mega Man Zero series, like... The Mega Man Zero series, I'd say, is, like... Not as obscure as Star Force and ZX, but definitely less played than Classic X and Battle Network. And I don't think... It doesn't have anything to do with the quality of the games or their story or anything. The problem is just that it was on the GBA. If those games were made on a console, like, I can't even think about how much better and more well-remembered they'd probably be. Yeah, Mega Man Zero, especially when you just go over to 2, it makes Mega Man Zero 1 look like a prototype of a game. Like, like it's like half finished. They were like, hey guys, here's this idea we have. And they're like, great, the GBA is launching next week. You need to put it out now. Because I think Zero was a launch game, wasn't it? For the GBA? Or it was at least very close to launch. I went all the way back for that fucking heart and there was one right here. Someone asked. <laughs> someone asked about the that box art. We have talked about the box art <laughs> that Europe had for all Mega Man games around this time. It's uh, it's a travesty. Someone, uh, a couple. I've seen a couple people say I haven't talked about it yet. That. X was originally supposed to be, uh, Copy X was originally supposed to be X. He was not a clone of X or anything like that. It was supposed to be X had turned evil. 
And while I think there's a lot of interesting things that you can do that, that you can do with that, at the same time, I, I agree with their reasoning. You don't want to start out this new series, right? And start it out with just murdering the protagonist. Of, no, the protagonist of the previous series, who you played as for like six games, he's a giant dickhead now and you need to murder him. Like, I imagine that wouldn't go over well with some people. <laughs> it would have been an it could have been an interesting story. Like, X just fought for... Like, he's... X is a pacifist. He fucking hates fighting. He hates how this shit is constantly going on all the time. The Maverick Wars and all that. And the idea that... That would have completely broken him... Eventually. And he's just finally like, No. Fuck it. Full-on fascist dictatorship. I'm done. Does make... It is a believable direction for his character to go in. Oh, that, so that, that just keeps going. I need to do that a little faster next time. I was expecting like three or four inputs like it usually has. Mega Man Zero's X woke up and chose violence. <laughs> and this is the, even in the games as they are now, like, I, again, I've only like started the second one. X does feel like a completely different person. Even the, like, the real good X. Like, he does feel like he's just completely done with everyone's bullshit. <laughs> There's a line, uh... When he goes to see Zero, when he's still in his elf form or whatever, his like spirit form, he goes to see Zero when they're talking about Copy X, and he says something along the lines of like, "You need to d destroy that copy, terminate with extreme prejudice." Is what I believe he says. Like he is pissed. came here to kill Mavericks and give fucks. And I'm all out of fucks. <laughs> oh, see you, Seraph. We're almost done anyway. We'll be done as soon as this, uh, as soon as this boss is over. Yeah, like, look at something, it makes sense. He fought, X fought for like a hundred years by himself. And got nowhere. Like, he made no progress for a gigantic chunk of that time. So that, that's, I thought it was funny. Like, it's, it's, a, it's a nice moment. Like, I, I liked it. From like, a character perspective. But at the end of Mega Man Zero, he's like, yo, bro. Tag out. It's your turn. I'm done. I, I need a break. You do it. <laughs> and then Zero's just like, yeah, no, that's what bros are for. Yeah, that's gonna take some practice. Oh, here comes the real Chad. <laughs> Thanks, pal. Colorado with the hot save.
X. Zero, please do not sacrifice yourself this time around now that you have amnesia. Zero, no promises. It's in Zero's DNA to blow himself up or sacrifice himself. He can't not do it. There's something deep inside of him that compels him to die for other people. I can't decide if that's admirable or he's fucking stupid. <laughs> little column A, little column B. It, like, it's admirable the first three or four times, but after that, he's like, well, I'm pr someone's probably gonna bring me back to life anyway. <laughs> so I'm not gonna worry about this one. Actually, though, this time... Can we say X and his actions are no longer admirable after X7 when he stops giving a single fuck? I feel like that's the case. I mean, I guess there's something to be said. It's like a... It's like a Spider-Man thing, sort of, with X. I know that sounds like a weird thing to say, but it's like a power and responsibility thing. Like, X doesn't want to fight at all. He, he would rather d not do anything, honestly. But he knows that he, he's too strong and too powerful. And he could do so much good that he can't let that go to waste. And I feel there's something ad there's definitely something admirable about that. Feels like a pro uh, the X and the Zero series feel like a proper progression of his character. Yeah, like I've seen some people before in the past be like, "Do X do as soon as Zero came back, X just noped out." It's like, what the hell? It's like X. It's uh, it makes sense to me that X would immediately dip out as soon as he could. Like as soon as he felt it was safe for him to stop, you know, jump and shoot manning everywhere, he would take that opportunity. And even then, like, he's like, okay, I'm gonna rest now, bye. And then, like, a year later, Zero Two happens, and he's like, oh, for the love of fuck, I can't sleep for five minutes without you kids making noise down here and waking me up. It's not like, it's not like X had, even if X wanted to do something, it's not like he has his body anymore. And putting him in a body that isn't his body would be kind of a waste of time. Like, what's the point? If it's not going to be as strong as X, why do they need X, you know? Even Copy X, who is supposedly like a perfect clone of him or whatever, was the idea Zero, who had just woken up a couple days earlier, is like, no, you're not even close to as strong as X was. Try it, try harder next time, mate. Uh, post a comic here? Oh, yeah, you can post a link to a comic, sure.
Zero is the weird one? Yeah, not, ju not just in his appearance. Zero's, I mean, obviously his personality would change. A lot of time has passed, so it's understandable, but... The Zero in Mega Man Zero doesn't feel like the Zero from the X Games. He seems like a lot more quiet and, like, fed up with everything. Whereas Zero in the original is more like, fucking hey guys, don't give up, we're gonna kick this guy's ass, let's go. <laughs> you can do it, X. The fake surfer voice is my fault, that's just the English dub taking effect. <laughs> Zero eventually gets his arrogant snarkiness back without the Super Dude inflection by Zero Three. That's good. Like I said, I understand why his personality is like that in the Zero games, but I am... X-Zero is so much more interesting of a personality to me. Uh... Uh, Cap to heading out. See ya! Thanks for dropping in. But, uh, yeah, I do wish Mega Man Zero addressed their design changes instead of there just being an interview where they're like, oh no, it's just an art style change. Everyone still looks the same. I don't know, that feels like a cop out. <laughs> like, even the weird part is when you, uh, I guess we've been talking about spoilers this whole time. But. There's a reason for Zero's body to look different. There is a plot reason for it. And they don't take that plot reason. It's the same thing with X. Like, you could have just argued, oh, that that's just copy X looks like that. That's why he looks different, you know? But instead, they're like, no, it's just an art style change. They look completely different now. Don't ask questions. That's why in X8, they all look more slim. Oh, God, yeah, don't. I like X8. Do not like X's design in X8. <laughs> Something with his helmet makes him look really weird. Like his head's fucked up or something. Yeah, I don't dislike the designs in the Mega Man Zero series. I just wish they would have addressed it in some way. They could have easily made it a plot point, and instead they were just like, nope. <laughs> like, as a, how crazy would it be? Again, spoilers, but I think everyone in here is up to that. It's, uh, what is X3 is the one with, uh, Omega in it? That there is a character who has, who, like, has Zero's original body. And it would have been so fucking cool if when you encountered him, he looked like the original Zero did. <laughs> that would have been an interesting thing. Instead, it's just Zero, but darker red. <laughs> Interesting point about how the designs become more and more human-like as the timeline progresses. Sure.
Yeah, for sure. I, I absolutely agree with the design change. Okay, I'm actually going to have to start paying attention. Because we're going to have some questions coming up. Zero don't have the move uh, minus 10 points. See what they did there? That's actually a little clever bit of exposition just now. I like that. Gonna have to be Mario. <laughs> he can't get enough of that plumber. <laughs> 300 IQ on this guy over here. Where's the green Mario option? <laughs> I forgot they delivered the the hints that way for like where the next thing is. That, that was a clever little thing. I still cannot fathom how much of a chaotic <laughs> force of nature Kermit is. That's why I that's why I had him take up the sword. He was born in the horn. He was forged in it. <laughs> Time for a drink. Oh, it's the end of this bottle, too. Good thing we're about done. Yeah, every time you see a Haruka in chat, remember, it was Kervis' fault. What? Bowser showed up? No way! <laughs> I'm ready to die. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
Stream's almost over, guys. No time for a waifu war, I'm afraid. I'm surprised there wasn't a comment about the fucking star, honestly, with you guys. <laughs> Look at those points. Hubba bubba. 